Tucker, and Yuna. Hey, it's Will and Jen. Hey, guys. What's going on today? Well, we are inside our avenue. You guys probably recognize this, but we um, kind of got a lot going on because we are currently selling this and our other fifth wheel. Wait, you guys have two fifth wheels? We do, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> What's the other one? The other one's a 2019 Keystone Cougar 315 RLS, fully custom. Make sure you guys fully stay renovated. till the end because we're going to show that one. Yes. Because it's fully been customized. It looks absolutely fantastic. It does. And then what's going on with this one? So this one, we are actually upgrading our rig soon. So we are currently working on getting this sold because in about a month or so, we are heading up to Elkhart and getting our new fifth wheel. Yes. Wow, lots of crazy stuff yeah. going on. And so guys, selling our truck. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at this one. Okay. See what changes you guys made to it. Okay. Then we're gonna look at your truck and then we're gonna look at the redesigned Cougar and Will, if somebody's interested in your truck, your Alliance Avenue or your Keystone Cougar, how do they get in contact with you? They can give me a call or text and we'll put my phone number right here, 202-531-8240. Let's hop on the outside and then we'll hop back on on the inside. Cool. And just like that, we're in Margaritaville. Now, hang on a second, Will and Jen. I said that you're selling two RVs. Why the heck are you getting rid of the Alliance Avenue? Well, guys, we are upgrading. Are we telling them what we're getting yet? Uh, I think we'll save it. Let's okay, just say okay. we're staying in the Alliance family. So you guys can okay. make your guesses about what we're getting down below. Yeah. Comment down below. And that's huge because that's something really important. Guys, they're selling their 2022 Alliance Avenue. Will and Jen, they're about to take us on a tour in a second. Yep. But the one thing I want everybody to know, shut the heck up in there. That's your the, dog. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I want everybody to know, you're not selling this and getting rid of it. You're right. buying another Alliance. Right, yeah. we just which, need something a little bigger, honestly. That's for huge. Our adventures this coming yep. year. For people to know, that's huge. There's yep. nothing wrong with the Avenue. Yeah, we, we've loved this we so love much. We love this. We're kind of like, honestly, we're sad to get rid of it. And like, even at that, if our next year, if our 2023 was going to be the same as 22, we'd probably just keep this, mm. you know, because we weren't yeah, living we're gonna in it that much. Yeah, we're going to be on the road much. a lot more, so we need something with a little bit more space. But we love the Alliance so much, which is why we're going back to Alliance. So. Perfect. Yep. Guys, show us what we got going on on the outside. Cool, starting up front, we have a nice fiberglass painted front cap. Got the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. And again, guys, it might be a little messy. I haven't gone through this storage in a while. Yes. Okay. Not, not too bad. I mean, it's being lived in. Yeah, we got a pizza in. oven. You got a pizza oven in pizza. there? And um, yeah, just our camping stuff. In here, you can't see there is a battery over there. And we do have the inverter, which is a thousand watt, if I remember correctly. Okay. No, 2000 watt, because we did upgrade um, these to the solar, extra solar package when we bought it. Propane in there. It is the bigger tanks right there. And then storage under here. Jeez. Oh no. Oh no. Storage under here. Now, Will, what all is coming with this? Um, or nothing. None of this. Oh, okay. None of this. No, you're none keeping it. Okay. No, no, no. That's good that you're keeping I it. I mean, depending on what you guys want to pay, we'll throw in the black stuff. Right. Hey, you pay asking price, you're getting a black stuff. Everything's for sale. Yeah. Everything's for sale, right? <laughs> okay. Um, but no, I mean, you guys can see, like, it is messy, and I, I'm sorry. Um, but you can see that, like, we have pretty good storage in here. Yeah. So, really, really nice. Double power awnings with LED lights. Something that we did add aftermarket is the slide toppers. Yes. Those are Lippert carefree slide toppers. Yep. yep. Solid steps. Yep, solid steps come with it. But yep. these, look at these tires. Well, they're the Goodyear Endurance tires. I love those. 285, 235-80 R16. Now, Will, it doesn't normally come with the Goodyears, does it? Now it does. Now it does. Um, The year that I bought, it did not come with Goodyears. I forgot what it came with, but those were upgraded. And um, those tires have been awesome for us. Very cool. We've got power on the outside, speakers and everything. Now, one thing I liked about this, and I think they're still doing it, but- No, they're we, not. They oh, did they're switch. not? Okay. They yeah. switched away. When we bought this is when they were having that ladder shortage on RVs. And so they got this like extra strong heavy duty steel ladder. So right. it doesn't flex at all. 300 pounds. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. So I'm, and I didn't, I, I think love they were still this. doing it. So, but I know, I don't think our paradigm will have this. this. Yeah. So, yeah, um, really nice. but up on the roof, there is a, oh, it's a PVC roof, two ACs. And then again, we upgraded that solar. So there is 320 watts of solar, um, which is enough for what we've been doing because it just runs the fridge and all that. Yes. And obviously there's a Matt's RV yes. review sticker on it. And again, guys, we are getting everything um, professionally cleaned, washed and waxed, right? On the yes. outside. Yes, washed and waxed. Hey, hey. 
Stop doing that in there. Look at her. Look at Tucker. Oh, Tucker. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> Yuna! If she couldn't see Stop! There, Hi! Just like Yuna, we're trying to make a video! Yeah, well, I'm trying to end the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, keep on going, Will. Again, okay. slide toppers on the outside here. Yep. Um, of course, with the M-Power. Oh, upgraded to the oh, yeah. to the Furion Instant Tankless Water Heater. So nice. This will be... I think we're going to take our Alliance, like, literally straight to Lipper. Yep. Because this That's is one of the first things, things we want to Must have. On. It's a yes. must have. Other side of the storage right here. And again, I do have the tote out here, but um, it would fit right in there. Very nice. Cool. Propane auto leveling right here. All right. Well, well we got some ornery puppies, so let's yeah. go inside okay. and take a look. Yuna and my talker, we're back inside. Guys. Welcome. Thank you for welcoming us. <laughs> this is my home. That's where I sleep with Yuna. Right. And we both fit on that sofa. Don't <laughs> ask me how. So Tetris. Guys, so what the heck's going on? So, um, I cleaned this today for, just for you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I guess I'll just give, like, obviously we've done a tour of this, but I'll give you a mini walkthrough. So we have our dinette over here. One thing I really love is that this yeah. is an ottoman that you can pull out. So that's something yeah, that bag. Lions does that's really cool. Yeah, here's your backpack. Well, sorry. And then, um. Jeez. The compartment doors are locked. Their bag. <laughs> the bag's on the thing. And there's storage under here right now. It's wine and a waffle maker. <laughs> wine. Wine and a waffle maker. <laughs> We um, see how the Matt's RV yeah. Reviews team operates now. So the cool thing is, is it, you can actually pull that out and put it into your living room as like an ottoman. We usually just leave it here, but I like that it has storage. Um, table, which doesn't have a leg in the middle, so lots of leg room. And then two chairs on this side. And we got the theater seat with the storage in the middle. Yes. This is where I sit all the time. It looks worn down. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's, that's literally chair. that is where Jen edits that's all of Matt's RV is. reviews yeah. right there. <laughs> this is the power seat. Um, and then here is the trifle that Matt always sleeps on. Yep. We have tons of storage up here. We really didn't even like utilize a lot of the storage because we just didn't even need it. And then also these side tables open up. And the top has hidden storage on both sides. I love that we can like see stuff in it. So like right. yeah. helps me visualize it a lot better. Yeah. Then directly across the entertainment center. Yeah. Entertainment centers, plenty of storage up top here, all the way across. Nice TV. There is a little bit of storage behind, oh. which is where we put like the T-Mobile thing, PlayStation, all that good stuff. And I just saw a really good video idea. So. What? Well, we have like kind of a unique RV internet setup, so maybe we'll make a video on that one. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, T Mobile needs to pay up, you know, T Money, <laughs> T Money, T Mobile, T Money. <laughs> um, the sound system and fireplace underneath. We use that fireplace like constantly at home, not in Florida. Right. In the kitchen, we have tons of storage in here. Honestly, like, don't you think this kitchen storage has been more than enough? Yeah, like, it's it's never felt, like, tight or anything. We yeah. Space. And, yeah, of course, we, like, fill it, and there's a lot of junk. But nice big insignia microwave, window, and everything. Yep. Um, and who cooks better out of you two? I don't know. Will's a good cook, too. Will's a good cook. Here's what I'll say. You haven't, actually, you've never made me food. I actually have. Will has. chicken one time, and I remember you being, like, like, you didn't want to even eat it, but then when you ate it, you were like, this is amazing. Right. What did you do to this chicken? Dang. Right. Yeah. All I know you is... Remember? You're sitting over there eating the chicken. Will makes, Will makes me more food than you do. He does. He makes brownies <laughs> a lot, too, which are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right. They really are good. So, They're the best brownies Matt said he's ever had. Yeah. And so whoever buys it, we'll make them a pair. Oh, Will, we're trying to sell some. <laughs> Come on. Well, brownies sell. Yeah, brownies, brownies sell. sell. Hey, they weren't going to buy it, but then when you threw the brownies right. in. Yes. So one thing I love in the kitchen is this big island, and we're actually not getting this in our next one, which I'm kind of sad about. But Oh, kitchen. wait. I mean, that's a little clue for what the next oh, one's going to be. No kitchen island, okay? Mm. Um, three drawers here. Plenty of space. As you can see, I don't even like, fill it up with stuff. Um, nice big sink. And one thing that, that I've really loved is that it's off to the side. So I put like a um, dish 
draining rack thing here so when I wash dishes I could just move them over and there's space next to the sink. Yep. Um, there's storage underneath here. And then we have a nice Norcold 12 volt fridge. Yep. And one thing that's really cool about this, we'll mention outside that the solar can run the fridge. Yeah. And that's come in a lot of handy because we've has. had plenty of times since we've owned this where we don't have it plugged up to power and it's yep. like sitting for a couple days or weeks and we can actually keep groceries fresh in here. Yeah. Well, don't say weeks, but definitely days. Yeah, days. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, it could go for weeks. If, weeks. If I don't the know. There might be shy. mold on your food. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, show them the pantry. Yeah, the pantry's definitely a mess. That's not bad. No, it's actually not bad. Dude, look, your candy canes are freaking organized. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good pantry. Yeah, huge pantry. We really love the space we have in there. Plenty of storage here. You can tell that we store the paper towels. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's one thing I will say I don't like is how it's like the see through glass. Yeah. But I've heard so many people don't like the RVs. This is like your kind of coffee bar, even though I haven't used it as that. Storage down here, and then I can show you guys the bathroom up here. Okay. All right. So also, will go stand in that shower. Well, place, the shower is wet. Place to put oh. your shoes underneath the stuff. You got to stand in the shower, Will. Oh, it's wet. It's wet. It's, it's going to make it wet. How wet? She just showered. It's not Okay, that I'll wet. do it. No, but see, I'm not t t t t Take your feet off. Do you want whatever. me to do it? Yeah. Okay. Get out of there, Dad. Let the adults handle this. Okay, plenty of space. The thing that I think makes it the best for you is that the for sure. skylight thing mm -hmm. is like almost the whole width of the shower. So it's like no matter where you move, he's not hitting his head. Right. So this definitely passes. Bing! That's shower test seal of approval. Oh, my feet are wet. We'll keep on going. <laughs> Just stand on that. Stand right there. Okay. Try. So up here is a medicine cabinet. Lots of stuff in there. All right. Um, sink here. Small sink. We're getting a, another clue. Our next RV has a much bigger bathroom oh, sink, okay. which I'm excited about. But lots of um, counter space here, and then you also have storage under here. And there's something special under oh, here. Oh man, man, what's that? <laughs> Liquified. Oh man, how does that? What what the heck is that? So Liquified is our new brand of RV toilet treatment. And show everybody how easy it is. And it's super easy because it has a little like pre measure thing. Hang so on. you open it. You got it. Damn child proof. Here. Dang child proof. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what you do is it has a little pre-measure thing, so you squeeze it. All you need is an ounce. Bam. Okay. For these Open your toilet lid. Did you just pee in there? <laughs> <There's no> pee. <laughs> That's from him. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now there's orange mixed with yellow. <laughs> All right, just flush it down. I'm sorry, America. That smells so good. Not only will it make your RV smell like citrus oranges. <laughs> It will liquefy your waste. Yep. Guys, you can get this on Amazon down in the link below. <laughs> Thank you guys. It was made by the Matt's RV Reviews team. Yep. Continue on. Okay. Now. I'm sorry. All right. In the bedroom, we added the Insignia TV. Nice window. We've always, you know, this, the, the pain point for us was definitely the bathroom was the big reason we wanted to um, upgrade, but these drawers are, are, have always been pretty good. Wow. Talk Space about OCD, wise. the yeah. way they're packed. Yeah. No, I mean, you just have to, it's, it's OCD? just. OCD? Yeah. Did you not see them? Are my drawers? Yeah, no, yeah. mine. Then. That is so OCD. I taught him how to fold yeah. like that. It's like the, it's, we have it's to a do certain that. folding method that's good for drawers. Oh, there you, yeah. the more, you know. Um, oh, nice big bed upgraded to us by Brooklyn Bedding. RVmatches.com promo code Matt. Yep. There you go. Promo code Will and Jen. <laughs> Not on this video. <laughs> Say it. Say it. Make sure you get 20% off. Say it. With code Will and Jen. <laughs> no! <laughs> Promo code Matt. <laughs> All right, so what else do we got going on? <laughs> um, storage underneath the bed. Right there. <clears throat> nice little nightstand. You got power and USB on both sides. Yes. And then windows all the way around. And then in here, is the closet it is prepped for a washer and dryer we did not do the washer and dryer okay okay mainly because well so the the divide well, mainly... of clothes is right here <laughs> i'll let you decide who's or guess whose side this okay is. let me let me look at these yeah this is probably will's clothes and then this is probably jen's clothes yeah yep. there you go I, i'm i'm saying <laughs> this is jen's side and that's will's side yeah <laughs> you're right <laughs> I don't know how you guessed that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just <laughs> dumb luck. But yeah, if you don't install the washer and dryer, there's also tons of storage back there. Yeah. And up top and everything underneath right there as well. Yep. Yeah. So that's the closet. Wraps up the closet. Did you show oh. them this well? 
I did. Yes. Yep. We installed okay, the nice. insignia. And TV. so it comes with the TV. And, yeah, and yeah, we'll leave that. It's insignia uh, fire TV. Right. Nice. So. Those are nice. Yep. Will and Jen, we absolutely love your Alliance Avenue, and yeah. we're so glad you're upgrading to another Alliance. Now, before we look at your truck and your other Cougar, what are you guys selling this for? Well, oh. we didn't really know, oh. so we're kind of trusting you a little bit. Me? You. So here's what I recommend. This is my recommendation for you guys. Okay. And again, this is what I would tell absolutely anybody who's in the same position. You guys got some upgrades. You yeah. guys have um, slide, top slide toppers, which is expensive. Instant hot tankless water heater. And you have that upgraded mattress from Brooklyn Bedding, yeah. rvmattress.com. The TVs and everything. Yeah. I think that you guys need to list this on RV Trader for sixty-four thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Okay. What do you guys okay. think? Sounds good. good. I'm that, trusting yeah. you. <laughs> Perfect. Now, with that said, there needs to be wiggle room. This is the RV industry. Right. There needs to be wiggle room, so they will be flexible on the price. Some definitely call and make them an offer, but I think that's a pretty fair price for what it is. Again, give or take a couple. Th like, I I think if somebody made you an offer that was a couple thousand dollars less, you shouldn't walk away from it, right, you know what I'm right. saying? So what final things do you want to mention about this unit before we take a look at the Cougar? Uh, I just want to say that we, like we said earlier, we've loved this. We are yeah. not getting out of it because we don't like it. It's just, we're ready for something that, like with the layout that fits us a little bit better for full timing in. And, uh, but we've loved, I'm actually like really sad to say goodbye right. to this because we have spent so much of last year in this rig. Um, but it's, it's wonderful. I've enjoyed it. And I really hope that we can sell it to one of you guys and see yeah. you guys enjoy it too. Perfect. Yeah, guys, definitely like mention if you're a viewer and everything, we would love for somebody who watches the channel. Right, like the 64.9 is for like the people on RV Trader. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If you watch the show, guys, I, I promise you they'll yeah. give you a good deal. Yeah. No, we would love to like see it at a rally again or something like that. That would be, so cool. be cool. Um, well, guys, just, you know, so you know where we're going to be. We are at Camp Margaritaville now. We'll be here until the Sunday before the Tampa show. Aww. And then we will be at the Tampa show. Um, this will be at the Tampa show, like on the fairgrounds. So if you guys want to see it, like come grab us or let us know. We'll show it to you after the show or something. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'd be, we'd be happy to show you. And Tucker, hopefully Tucker it's- Tucker can give you a personal yeah. tour. <laughs> um, and hopefully after that, um, we're going to Indiana. So hopefully it's sold by then. Hopefully. If not, <laughs> we have Please a problem. Help. Great, let's take a look at your truck and the Cougar. Cool. All right, Will and Jen, we're back again. We are. A lot has changed since we've been here because we were supposed to do a video on the truck, but what happened yesterday? Well, we bought a new truck we and we traded this one in. But you <laughs> yeah. still have it. Yeah. yeah, so they had to ship our tr our new truck from Texas. And truthfully, they, they gave us a really good deal. And then that plus the tax benefit, I wouldn't have even want to charge somebody that much for it. So per Perfect. So the truck's off the table. So what do we got going but, on? But we oh, do geez. have... We Jeez, do, Will. I know we do have the fifth wheel hitch still. If somebody wants, you know, needs that. Well, well, we're gonna use that. We're we're gonna get your fifth wheel hitch for free okay. if somebody wants to buy this unit yeah. or yep. the Avenue. Yep. So right. what the heck's going on? What's behind us? Okay, so behind us is our first fifth wheel that we ever owned, which is a 2019 Keystone Cougar 315 RLS. And what's the sale price of it? The sale price, like what we're selling it for? Yes. The sale price of this is going to be uh, 69.9, guys. Now before everybody signs off this video, why the heck? Do you guys have the audacity to list it for sixty nine nine? Okay, so the reason that we have it listed at that price is because we have put quite a lot of money into renovating this thing. A little over twenty grand. Yeah, it was yeah. about. I think when we calculated, it was like twenty two thousand five hundred, like around there. So we put a lot of money into renovating this, and um, because of that, it's now a beautiful space, like perfect for full timing. If you want that renovated look, it's already done for you. So that's kind of what made. We're just and at so, this point, we're wait, just wait, 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 wait. Even here. Probably still losing money. You're still losing money. Yeah. yeah. You're a sucker. No, I'm just kidding. But what? You're you're saying is this is a one of one yes it is okay let's talk about the outside but truth you know what skip the outside let's get skip to the good part okay, okay. i can show you guys that all right <laughs> okay. oh you know what it might have been what? it might have been my singing no it was when you were just talking out there oh okay you're just loud okay <laughs> you guys didn't see what just happened okay some guy told matt that he was being too loud at the campground <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Okay, Will's getting the AC off so we get rid of the background noise, but as you can see, I think wow. it's beautiful when you come in here. This is absolutely beautiful. Now let me do this. I'm going to walk through. Okay. And then we're going to start back there. 
After we give a shout out to that forester over there. <laughs> oh, the dumb doors. Okay. Nice sink. Wow, guys, this looks nothing like a 2019 Keystone Cougar. Right. So tell us what the heck's going on here. Okay, so we started the renovation and we passed it off to our friend the Thompsons who renovate RVs on the side and they finished it off and made it look really beautiful for us. So um, I guess I'll, you want me to like walk through kind of like what yeah. we changed. So starting in the back here, as you can see, uh, the furniture right. looks really different than RV furniture. So this is residential furniture. Nice. Um, which gives it more of like that residential full-time look. Um, there used to be storage up here. I took it out because I felt like it kind of closed in the ceiling. And so we ended up doing this nice like faux beam here and we have like the high curtains and everything. So it kind of opens up the space. Mm -hmm. Walls were all painted white. Um, everything was changed basically. Like all the trim work is different. Wow. I'll put a picture right here, Matt. Bing. So you guys can see like what the interior looked like before, but it's like completely different. So. Residential uh, furniture yep. now. So the, these two couches kind of match. I think they're from Ikea. The so flooring's new as yeah, well. It is. We did laid all the flooring. We actually did that ourselves. I laid, Will and I laid like all this flooring ourselves, which is not fun. Oh, so that subtracts to the value. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, they did these nice little side tables here next to the couch. And um, over here at the entertainment center, um, all the cabinetry was painted. So all of that is, it used to be like a dark wood. All that's been painted. New countertops here is like the nice butcher block. Still have your electric fireplace. Um, well, do you want to show the kitchen? Sure. Kind of show what's different, I guess. Yeah, nice pantry right there. So every, like Jen said, all the kitchen cabinets were painted. Um, and then new hardware was put on to oh. kind of do that white and black contrast. So that is the original cabinetry. It's just it is. painted to look painted. better with better uh, handles. handles and, and everything. So, and we actually did it. We painted it ourselves first and Mm. We didn't do the best job at it apparently because mm. the paint was like peeling off. So yep. we actually had them redo it and they know how to, to paint cabinets so that they're really durable. So they was, might have left the upper cabinets, right? Didn't we just no, say that? No, they you think they, they repainted, repainted everything? everything okay. Because when they, they replaced these handles, it was peeling. So they went ahead and okay. redid all the paint so it'd be really durable for yeah. time use. Good. We left all the appliances in. So this is a traditional microwave, Fury on range, but we did all butcher block countertops throughout the whole kitchen. There's actually really good storage in this um, kitchen. And then we had them do a little bit of a bigger island here. Um, we just oh, feel okay. like the they island, yeah, that. it extends this way and this way a little bit. Nice. It's we just feel like it's really nice having that extra counter space. That's one thing we've always liked in our avenue. New faucet, new sink, and then you'll see new lighting and everything in here as well. Yeah, I love this light fixture. You like right, it? it's Art Deco. Yeah, it is. It actually, it's kind of Art Deco. It really actually oh, is. That's funny. Um, the fridge is even still the same. It's a Dometic refrigerator, but we painted that. Um, and then and this yeah. sink is also this sink is huge. I told them to Get do the a really big sink, farmhouse big style sink mm. so you can wash pots and pans in there. Yes, so nice. Yep. Over here, a nice coffee slash taco bar. And that is all about washing dishes, right? Right, now. yeah. Um, and you do have power here, which is actually really nice. Again, with the butcher block. And everything just looks real nice and clean, so. Okay, on to the shower, Will. Okay. Why are you watching Lenny so much? I see you, Lenny. This is personal now. Lenny is now Matt's arch nemesis. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, ready? Cut that part out. Up to the shower. All right. I don't know. <laughs> pivot door here which matt mentioned earlier but i'm not a fan of either honestly yep um but it gets the job done that is a nice shower it is a nice big shower and it did have the glass here but they're just we told them you know as much as they can't do that residential look yeah we felt like this curtain and then, and then it kind of swoops out a little bit gives it that nice residential look yep in the bathroom again just nothing like you never see something like this in an rv with the right mirror. i love it it's beautiful on top thank you um good nice good solid surface countertops and this is like a little bit darker so it kind of like goes with this whole theme but mixes it up a little bit and then nice uh towel rack there do you want to do the prime pooping position test well one did you get any liquefied in here no can you get some from the truck Jeez. it's in the back it's in the tailgate Jeez. all right well i'm just saying i mean they're having me come out here. I'm getting yelled at by Lenny over there for being so loud. <laughs> at least let me promote some liquefy. Right. 
and let's give the new owner some liquefied. That's right. This is a prime poop and position. Bing! There we go. A nice medicine cabinet under there. Yep. And there will be some liquefied for America. All right. You got it? Yep. There you go, guys. We got the good stuff. There you know you what? Go. We should give some of this to Lenny and bring bread. Can I, can I tell you? I don't give. Don't talk to Lenny. I went outside and you could hear from outside you talking about Lenny. <laughs> oh really? Oh. So, Tony, you're so loud that even. In <laughs> Why am I so loud? Should we give some to Lenny? I think we should. Yeah. I'm gonna break bread. I'm gonna be the bigger man. And not staying there for the new owner. Yes. Right? For okay. The new okay. Owner. Wait, why are you recording me? I don't know. <laughs> so what's going on in here? Um, okay, so in here we have nice, um, they, they redid the trim and everything. There's still a couple of things I'm buttoning up, but it looks really good. Again, continue with the natural wood. Yep. Nice touches that we did do. We, we put in the second AC unit. That's not standard. Our plan originally was to full time in this. Okay. So we wanted the second AC unit. Um, behind you, Matt, is the washer and dryer. Oh, it All comes one. with it. Yep. Yeah. Did you forget we did that? Yeah, All I didn't one. know. Splendid. All Splendid. in one. Yep. Again, just our whole intention was to full time in it, so we were getting it ready for that. Um, and the mattress. Oh. Brooklyn bedding. Hell, freaking yeah. Is no, giving us. It's not oh, <laughs> it's not. But whoever buys it, there's they're it's shipping a new it. mattress to them. And what promo code do they use? Will and Jen. Promo code Will and Jen. For no. 10% off. No, Matt, because you get 20% off with no, mine. No, mine's 20% off. <laughs> no, so oh, they're all 20% off. off. <laughs> yeah, my link will be down below, America. With nice um, storage up top here. I just got done installing the closet rod in there. Yep. And um, yeah, and sorry guys, there are a couple things we, we're still cleaning up a little, but we'll get it all cleaned up for you. Guys, this is a beautiful fifth wheel. The one thing that this is missing is some artwork or something right there. Yeah. This section's kind of bland, but again, with some yeah. nice artwork down I there. I was actually going to get some artwork to put there and like on behind the toilet or above the toilet too. Yeah. Probably. Nice. So. But again, I mean, Jen can get it. You guys can get it. Whoever wants to get I'll it let the, can let get the it. I get what artwork they like. Yes. Artwork. Perfect. Out here on the front cap, it is a full fiberglass painted front cap. Mm -hmm. um, and the outside doesn't have any like customization or anything. So we're just more showing you what's standard. Um, the nice lipper hitch right here. Underneath here, not a lot of storage because your spare tire, spare tire carrier is in here. Right there, and your battery as well. But there is a little bit of storage in there for your tools and whatnot. You got propane right here with the bigger tanks. And guys, this is actually um, like brand new as in it's never been slept in. Obviously it's four years old, but um, the, like the propane is still full and everything from the dealership. And this is a mess in here, I apologize, but again, we're trying to get everything cleaned up. But if you check it out, this is actually really, really big storage for a mid-pro. This is a lot right. more than we have in the Avenue. Um, you got some, your TV hookups there, your in-command system. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. Good. Solid steps that I like. Yep. Heated and closed underbelly, two awnings, power awnings right. with LED lights. They're the custom T-Tone. Yes. You want to do tires? Lenny, Lenny, All right. everybody, they can thank Lenny for me not screaming the tires. <laughs> tire kings. Uh, they're trailer kings, guys, but we all, I, I'm working on, I got um, Goodyear Endurance on order. Nice. Because um, truthfully, they, they just kind of suck and I didn't, you know, I just wanted to be ready for whoever's next. Good. Coming around the back, 50 amp power, ladder to get up on the roof. It is prepped for a backup camera. <clears throat> and then on the roof, it's just all the standard stuff. You towing this thing illegally, Will? Yeah, I, I actually have updated the registration, but I lost the sticker. Mm. Um, mm. So, oh, up on the roof, two AC units, a wine guard, digital antenna, max air fan, all that good stuff. Nice. Fresh water connection right here. That's where you dump your black and gray tanks. Yes. And then the other side of that storage, <coughs> Sorry, all your hookups, winterization, city water, tank flush, and your pole valves. And then your in-command system is right there. 
Perfect. Guys, what an amazing tour of not one, but two fifth wheels. We're super excited to see what you guys get next. But if somebody's interested in one of these two units, one, by the way, whatever price we're saying on video, if you guys watch Matt's RV reviews, we're gonna get you a better price. Of course, okay? yeah. Again, like, just like the admin, we want, we would love it if somebody who watched the channel got it and yes. brought it to rallies and whatever. So. Yep, yep, exactly. How do people get in contact with you if they wanna buy one of these? You or can this? give me a call or text me, 202-531-8240. We'll put my number right there. Perfect. Guys, thank you so much for having me today. Guys, I want to apologize for Lenny over there for yelling at us, but I'm going to give him some liquefied and break bread. As a peace offering. As a peace offering. Peace offering. Hey, your black tank stink. So does your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Not with liquefied. Not guys, with liquefied. thank you so much. Um, Guys, reach out to Will. Yes. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe to Will and Jen's channel. Uh, we'll link it down below to figure out which fifth wheel they get next. Yep. And if you need a new mattress, use my promo code. RVMatch.com slash Matt. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time.